What's up guys, Frank Fulci back again with another weekly haul unboxing and collection update video. Before we jump into this haul, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon for notifications of all future uploads. Now, if you guys know me, you know I've been doing this channel for, what, two and a half years now? And uh, you know I missed last week. That's the first week, literally, in two and a half years that I have missed. Uh, I warned in my last video, which would be now two weeks ago, that that would happen. Or that may happen. You know, it was a high chance of it happening, and it happened. Uh, I didn't have anything that came in in the week. And also, I was away on vacation. So, finally got back today. I'm exhausted. Uh, six hour drive to get back home. So, yeah, I wasn't really going to do this. I waited a couple hours. And uh, now we're here. I'm doing it. It'll be uploaded tomorrow, Sunday morning. Let's get into it, guys. Welcome to the channel, of course. First, I'm going to show some stuff that I got in the wild while actually on vacation. So there was a Dollar Tree uh, over there, which I only have. I don't really have one by me. But while I was out on vacation, we did some shopping and I found a Dollar Tree. And of course, it only had one title. I refuse to believe that you guys who are showing off all these awesome Dollar Tree hauls are actually getting them from Dollar Tree. It's just I've now been to Dollar Trees in multiple states and they never have shit. So yeah i don't believe you guys anyway i did find this one which is officer down i actually have a copy of this which was gifted to me by uh mason um puff puff comics aka pop culture massacre uh he had gifted it to me for my birthday but it didn't come with a slip so for a dollar more i'm okay with owning a duplicate of this actually this is a movie starring kim coates and directed by a uh, clown from slipknot so Another one I found in the wild, they also had a Dollar General. Uh, didn't have much there that I really cared to get. I picked up this blind buy of a Blu-ray of Blood Feast. Uh, as you can see, it was $5. And uh, yeah, don't know shit about this. So figured it was the only horror, anything, you know, remotely horror in that store. Also at uh, Dollar General, I picked up a $3 copy of Lord of the Flies. I haven't read this shit since like middle school. So I figured what a, you know, what a perfect time to revisit this for a few bucks. Um, they also had a Barnes & Noble, went to a mall out there. Barnes & Noble is still currently having the 50% off sale for Criterion Collection, so of course I had to get Bong Joon Ho's uh, Memories of Murder. Uh, yeah, very fucking excited to own this. This is one of his that I have not seen actually, so I plan on watching this very soon. Uh, super excited about that. I'm gonna jump into some horrorcore, underground, horror-related music. And then some movie stuff. A lot of shit came in while I was gone, even though we held the mail, but it was uh, held until today. So we came home to like bins of shit. Uh, so yeah, I'll jump into the stuff I got. I may split it up into like two videos just because I said I'm exhausted. There's a lot of stuff. And uh, it's, you know, two videos worth of stuff, I guess. You know, I have some stuff that I might show off in a separate video that will be like Severin and Vinegar Syndrome. All this other stuff is kind of a mix of stuff. But like I said, first I want to show off some horrorcore underground shit. Uh, CDs are from a buddy of mine I actually have done many dealings with on Facebook. He actually sent these out mad quick because I paid for them like two days ago or three days ago and that shit was already here when I got home from vacation. So the name of the group is Cabal. It's actually a super group of Buckshot, Low Key, and Mr. Gray. Uh, and the fucking CD, I actually listened to this digitally finally for the first time like last week. And I got through like four or five songs and every one of them that I heard so far is dope. So I'm happy to own a physical copy of this. Now the name of the album is The Watchers. Um, and uh, yeah, this is supposedly like a special edition version of it. I know Buckshot puts out like 47 different versions of every album. So who knows how many there actually are of that. But here's another one that came supposedly in some like super rare box uh, called Inception. I don't know if it's one track. Oh no, there's mad tracks on here. It just looks to be uh, various tracks by all three of the artists that are in the group and you know, some collaborations between them, different combinations of them. So you have a Buckshot featuring Loki, AXE, and Demi Damari. You got Loki solo tracks, Mr. Gray solo tracks, Buckshot solo tracks, uh, Mr. Gray featuring Clockwork, Buckshot, and Insane Loke. Just various in, uh, incarnations of the three of them. So happy to have that. Thank you, Josh. Appreciate that, brother. I think this is a music related one. We'll find out. <clears throat> yeah, it's uh, the shipping. It's, I don't know what the fuck they're doing. This is from Twisted Shop. Uh, you know, Twisted, if you know anything about hardcore, or even if you don't know that much, you'll probably still have heard the name Twisted. They used to run with ICP on their label. Now they have their own label for the last few years. 
Uh, I fucking love Twisted. Everything they do, their rock shit, their rap shit. Uh, this is a like wicked shit weed smoker type album. So still rap stuff. Uh, Electric Lettuce, it's an EP that they put out recently, so I had to get a hard copy of that. This is a re-release of the Psycho, or, oh, not Psychopathic Riders, but the Riders CD that Twisted put out. Uh, this is a 2021 version. I believe there's one extra track on here with Gibby Stites. Funny thing is, like, a lot of the dudes that were on this don't fuck with Magic Ninja anymore, so Gmo Ski is no longer there. King Gordy, I don't know if Bizarre was on any tracks on this, but a few of these guys don't even really... Uh, roll with Magic Ninja anymore, and of course I had to get the new Oh The Horror. This is a rock group, like a rap rock. I want to like these guys more than I actually do. They have the great potential, but I think a better version of this group is actually Scythe Gang 666. So if you want to hear some trap metal dope shit, listen to them. These guys have some good tracks. This is their newest album, 1692. Also put out on Magic Ninja, but technically not. It's Welcome to the Underground is the name of the like sub-label, I guess is uh, what they put it out under. But yeah, rock, rap, shit, horror, rock, rap, whatever combination you want to say, but had to support the label nonetheless. We have a huge hardcore box here, which was actually sent to me for free uh, by a dope MC by the name of Dr. X, I believe his name is, but he's in the group. I'm not gonna say the name of the group right it's kill yourself backwards, basically. Uh, I'll show you guys here in a second when I open this box. But he was dope enough to, you know, he saw my hardcore wiki site and he wanted to thank me for all that I do, basically. So he literally sent me every fucking album that he's ever put out. Basically, group stuff, looks like some solo stuff, maybe. Uh, we're gonna jump through this, guys. It's gonna be a while here. So I guess you would say Flesroy Lick, but again, it's kill yourself backwards. I don't think I'm gonna be able to focus in on that. Uh, let's see if you can see this. So it's here on the side is the name of them. Uh, this is an album called The Hit. Again, I'm not gonna know which order these are in, or The Hit List rather. This is from 2010, so these guys go back a ways. <clears throat> They've had different incarnations, uh, you know, different members throughout the years. I actually put up an entry. They have a page on the Horrorcore Wiki site so you can read about them and their history. Uh, there was a side group of a couple of the MCs called Cult Status. So this is a CD of Cult Status and the God Fertility, or the God of Fertility rather, the Halloween sessions. Uh, I actually might, I think I have a couple of Cult Status CDs from over the years, but always happy to have duplicates to add to the library. Of course, I'm trying to preserve horrorcore as a whole. So here's one, again, Flores Roy Lick. I would love to actually hear that name said by the artists, but this is an album called Green, and it's very green. Uh, no year on this one that I can see. But Next we have Cold Status, The Obscurity. Again, no year on this one. We have uh, Kill Yourself, uh, Quick and Painless. Definitely don't have this one. I, I don't think I have any of these guys as a group album. I think I only had some cult status stuff. Fles Roy Lick Red. So it looks like they got some... Uh, uh, no year on this. A lot of album names of just colors. Cult Status, The New Drug. I might have had uh, like a different version, a different artwork version of this one previously. Here is an album. Looks like a self-titled EP actually. Uh, Fles Roy Lick. Fles Roy Lick. Um, Cult Status, My Halloween Mask. Looks like a five track EP from 2010. Stack these up, boys and girls. Fles Roy Lick. Suggestions. Uh, doesn't have a date on that one either. We have. Attempted Suicide is the name of this album. Guys, this guy, I mean, the artist here sent this to me. Very fucking awesome of him. This one just looks like black on black on black on black. Uh, he did not have to send me anything for free, let alone every single thing he's ever done. <coughs> um, Common Nights by Gloom Rap. It's another artist that was in... Uh, a couple of these groups, Cold Status and Flores Roy. Uh, JT Killer, the one thriller. Not, I, be, I believe JT was another 
uh, artist in the group or just another alias of one of the other guys. They've gone through some name changes over the years. Cult status hate. Man, this is like a hardcore collection instantly. Like if I didn't already have over 2,500 CDs, uh, this would be a good way to start the collection for sure. This is from 2009. The name of the album is Beginning or Begging for Death rather. And last but not least, we have Dazed and Confused by YC Rocks, I believe is the name of the artist on this one. So very awesome stuff there. And he actually sent me one more thing here, which he did tell me about as well. I believe it's a vinyl record, which is uh, fucking, again, incredible. Did not have to send this to me. Oh, one of these fucking shitty uh, envelopes that makes a mess everywhere. Holy fuck. I'm gonna have to vacuum after this. Guys, bear with me. I'm getting shit all over me. Definitely was not supposed to be open with that asbestos shit coming out. Oh my God. That's a problem. That's a big problem. Anyway, this is a little bent, but obviously not his fault. This is the post office fault. But this looks like the album that, uh, self-titled EP that I had uh, shown off in CD form, but here it is in vinyl. So very fucking amazing. <sighs> Thank you for sending this brother. You know who you are if you're watching this. So appreciate you very much. And glad to have you as a part of the uh, website. All right, guys, let's get into some movie stuff. <clears throat> then we'll call it a day. My voice is gone. I'm trying not even to talk as loudly as I normally do. Here's an Amazon package. This is another awesome gift from the good brother named Bill. Uh, it's another one of these uh, Paramount Presents. This is number 21 and it is almost famous. Blu-ray, of course. Continuing the collection for Paramount Presents. Very awesome stuff. Thank you, brother. This is another one that I have not seen. I know it's uh, actually very well talked about this film. I've heard about this for many years. Kate Hudson. It's a Cameron Crowe film. Trying to see if I recognize any other faces here. It looks like Jason Lee. I could be wrong here. But, uh, <clears throat> again, my voice is going, so I'm not going to read the whole thing. But thank you, Bill. Appreciate that. Uh, we have a couple of uh, packages from Diabolic. And then that's it for this video, guys. I'm going to try to get this edited and then uh, fall asleep. Because uh, even though it's kind of early still... I'm very clearly feeling the effects of vacation, and I don't can't even really rest tomorrow because I have another family function uh, party to go to, and uh, I'm gonna be fucking exhausted for work Monday, which is gonna be fucking stressful in and of itself. So, really not looking forward to any of the next couple days, but we'll we'll survive. The first one from Diabolic here is the uh, Arte origin Originale of. Um, Bird with the Crystal Plumage. So I showed this off a couple weeks ago, the other version that Arrow had put out, but they put out this uh, original artwork version here because people were complaining about that artwork. I believe that is the only reason, honestly. Uh, they were quick to hear the complaints and decided to make more money and put out another version. So of course I'm the dummy that bought both and I know I'm not the only one. So good job, Arrow. You know what you're doing. <clears throat> This is the last one from Joe from Diabolic. It's packaged differently. I'm used to getting boxes from Diabolic, so this is a little strange for me. Um, so yeah, not sure how to open this fucking thing to be honest with you guys. So I'm just gonna crack into it. And very excited about this one. Uh, not that I've seen it, because you know I never see shit, but this is number 20 in the Vestron uh, Collector Series, Vestron Video, The Wraith. Uh, you know, if you've been watching the channel, I have every single Vestron you know, Collector's Edition that Lionsgate has put out. I think they started in, what, 2017, I want to say? Um, so yeah, number 20, like I said, awesome. Very happy to have this. This one I actually pre-ordered from Diabolic. Uh, as I as with that arrow uh, bird with the crystal plumage um, but it was pretty cheap 
unfortunately, it was also the same price on Amazon and I, I wouldn't have had to pay for uh, shipping if I kept my pre-order on Amazon. But, uh, you know, regardless, happy to have this, the Wraith. So that is it, guys. I said I'll probably do a separate video for uh, a Severn package and a Vineyard Center package. I may do it during the week. I may do it, just save it for next weekend and include it in that haul because I don't know what else is coming this week. But uh, that is it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you for bearing with me on this uh, tired edition. But, uh, you know, not some, not bad stuff here. You know, Lord of the Flies, a couple of movies in the wild, Criterion, Arrow, uh, Vestron, Paramount, some good stuff, and a ton of horrorcore this time, guys. Make sure you look up some of these artists. Cult status, Flesroy Lick, which is just kill yourself backwards. And uh, what I show, Twisted, of course, Oh, the Horror and the riders they all have entries on the website hardcore wiki which is linked down below also linked down below is my amazon wish list if you want to support the channel other than just liking subscribing commenting down below social media links are down below all that good stuff guys hope everyone is doing well happy healthy and safe all that good shit. until next time peace out and be good